All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is the Odd Critic here, and welcome back specifically to my Model Warfare 2 campaign walkthrough series. Um, I, I say this at the start of every episode, pretty much. A uh, quick thing to point out: um, if you want to see the loading cutscenes that plays before you enter a mission, or if you want to find intel locations or anything specific like that then you will not be getting that out of this series. This is just showing you the missions and, and my attempt to play through them. Uh, last episode we did the Hornet's Nest and Exodus. And this episode we will be doing the only easy day was yesterday and the Gulag. And I, I doubt we'll have time, but if we do end up have, ever having time, we'll do of their own accord. Or not, I don't know. Uh, I can actually tell how many more episodes, so that's, that's gonna be episode 5, 6, 7, and then 8. So this series should be over by episode 8, so we're about halfway through the campaign right now. Uh, yay for math, right. Um, right, let's get into the game on regular. Alright, I also have the, the game volume turned down a little bit. Actually quite a, a fair bit, because I just want the, the commentary to be noticeable just a little bit more. I'll turn it up a little bit. Um, right, so, you may have been curious what I meant by loading cutscenes, this, this cutscene that's playing right now, this is what I meant by that. And, uh, yeah, there's Shepard and, and, um, Soap talking to each other. And there we go. Uh, I always skip those cutscenes. So um, if you don't like that, then feel free, feel free, feel free to go watch another series. Uh, though it is at best a very terrible reason to not watch a certain series. So yes, just pointing that out. Um, the, the, oh, okay, I thought the game, I thought the game had frozen up. No, uh, here we are in the in the submarine launch bay with the little. Man, submarine, whatever, mini sub, kind of thing. And then this is the bit that I always kind of liked about this mission. And uh, whew, had like a, a mini yawn there. But right, this is the bit that I always loved, was seeing like this the USS Dallas SSN 700. I think that's it. Just like just being just giant submarine. I always kind of liked it. <laughs> and they're giving the sign to each other. And then... Um, some discoloration at the top of the screen. I think that means we're approaching the oil rig. Yep, there it is. There is the oil rig in the distance, if you can see that. I mean, seriously, this is the extent of how far I can look around. So, I can't look in that many directions. But, here we are going. He's telling me to get up. Because I am the slow one in the group, and I need to be told everything. Um, just kidding. But um, yes, here we are. We're about to slaughter some dudes. Can I pull out my grenade launcher? No. I'll take them both out on your go. Okay. Press F. Uh, F is my melee button because well, why wouldn't it be? And here we are going up. Okay, now we're on the surface. Um, there's Neon, Captain McTavish, Neon, who I don't know, Peasant, that's the worst name in the entire world, Ghost, and Rooster. And then we have Zack. <laughs> it's like everyone with their like cool names. There's Robot, there's Rooster, there's there's Ghost, there's I mean, Peasant, I don't know if I can say that cool, and then there's Zack. That, that, that's, oh, Neon. I call it Neo. That's a nice name. Got him. Right. So this is the spot where we're going to kill some dudes and free some hostages. Ah! <laughs> dang, I thought that was a guy. Instead, I just ended up shooting a hostage. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's let's try that again this time, and this time not kill the hostages by accident. 
Oh, come on! I killed a hostage! How? Ah, some of you probably saw that hostage. I clearly didn't. Uh, we'll get through this bit at some time, guys. That's why I don't like this mission very much. Because of these bits. Kill him in the face, kill him in the face. Who's shooting me? There we go, we got through this bit. Okay, cool. I like how that stays in slow motion for so long, you really kind of lose, like, the, the slow motion surprise aspect of it, because by the, by the, by a certain point, they'll already be shooting back at you, so there's no real point in having a slow motion. Uh, watch a sec, this. We're going up here. I only uploaded, uh, part three of the series yesterday, and I'll probably be uploading part four today, which would be just oh so amazing. And I would really like that. But yes, here we are doing another thing. Oh, that was nice. Oh my goodness, what is this guy doing? I don't really have that done again. A vector? Did I just see a vector? How much ammunition does it have? Shut up, guys, I'm trying to check the ammunition. This is why I don't play with captions on that often. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep my M4 in one. Oh my goodness, could you let me climb up, please? Thank you. Intervention there? Oh, I know, it's the Dragon Elf. Okay, no, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Stand by. And uh, yeah. Boop. Here we go. Wait, wh why did my silencer disappear? Seriously, this thing just disappeared randomly. I mean, it's not doing me any good at this point in the mission, but I just kind of like the silencer. Oh, and I died. Uh, so, yeah. Don't worry guys, we'll be getting into the good missions of this game at some point. Okay. I'll try not to die that much. It's gonna be just because that's not healthy. Ah, that's on fire. I didn't know you could- I, I forgot that you could blow those up. Now those guys just absolutely have turned. Everyone trying to shoot us. Yeah, see, stand next to the the fuel that's on fire. Probably not a good idea. I forgot how vicious the AI is on regular. Uh, I say vicious. It's not that vicious. I'm probably just really, really, really bad. But, eh. It's a bad player. I don't know. I may not be that bad. I may not even know what I'm talking about anymore. But anyways, let's just kill all these people. Let's uh, set that alight. Oh my goodness. Lord, getting absolutely destroyed by these guys. And there I go. Ugh. Seriously, I feel like I'm the only one firing shots at these guys. No, shut up. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not talking very much, and I, I tend to freeze up, like, not, not exactly freeze up, but I tend to just, like, stop commenting on the game when I'm trying to focus hard, like, when I'm about to die, as in situations like this. Yeah, shit, those guys. Got him. 
<laughs> that was easy. Okay. I actually thought that bit would be a lot more difficult taking out the helicopter, but it wasn't, so I'm happy. Alright, let's uh, go through here. Shoot these guys. Shoot that guy. Shoot this guy. Grenade there. Dodge. Uh, it's the most boring mission in the entire world, I swear. Alright, so here we go. Oh, I thought those were explosive. Explosive arrows. I, I appear to be getting a shot at. So, um, yeah, guys, any final work? Never mind. Uh, I kind of regret playing on regular. It's this, this, I don't know why. It's just so difficult now. I, it's just, the game isn't usually this difficult on regular. I don't know if it's just because I'm recording this, like, the luck that I have when I'm recording. The AI in this game does get pretty vicious. Like, look at this! Oh, look at how much damage they're doing! What is this? This is not regular, this is hardened. Like, what's going on? Seriously. I say I like this game. What the heck? Game's doing far too much damage to me. I'm only playing on regular. Jeez. Also, I like how there's this, this like, kind of awesome soundtrack in the background. That you guys can't hear because of A, the gunfire, and B, the fact that the, um, the sound is turned down a lot. Oh, I saw. Oh my gosh. Seriously, they like hit every single shot. That's what makes this the most unfair, is that they just, they, they hit you as soon as you pop your head out, you're like dead. Gosh, I can't wait for this mission to be over. Oh no, smoke! Oh, this bit, this bit isn't fun. This bit's not fun at all. For example, I'm already almost about to die. And there we go. My guys aren't even covering me. <laughs> this is so terrible. My gosh, I cannot believe this. How how just absolutely terrible this mission is. How how terrible like this game is in in some aspects. No, oh, stop shooting me, twats. I'm gonna go around. Ah, I think that may be explosive. Therefore, I'm going to move. And there they are again. Ugh, this is the bit that I hate so much. Like, my guys, you you never even know where they're at. Like, where are you guys? Where are you at? Okay, here's soap. Let's stay with soap and see how the game treats us. Okay, so he goes this way. Like, it gives the enemies thermal optics. Like, you have thermal as well, but... It's somehow... They somehow manage to make it a lot more unfair on you. That's what makes this bitch just absolutely terrible. That's what makes this mission absolutely terrible. Like, seriously. No! Go away! Oh my gosh. Ugh. I, I'm... I have to find a way to edit this bit out, because this is just a terrible part of the mission. Seriously, I haven't had this terrible of a mission since part two of this series. I'm just gonna stay here. Oh, well, peasant's dead. Oh, whoops. Only making my life easier. Thanks, game, for allowing friendly fire. Like, why would you allow me to kill my own guy?
I like how my frame rate is just completely tanked during this bit. Oh, game saved. Thank the Lord. Ugh. So that means if I die right now, then I'll be somewhat okay. Yeah, there's Ghost. There's a guy who just completely ran past Ghost. Ghost! Hello! Jeez! Could you, like, I don't know, cover me? I'm trying to get a shot off on this guy. No! Die! Thank you. Alright. There's Ghost. Okay, I think this awful bit of gameplay is finally over. I say I like this game. I really hate this game sometimes. Alright, got him. Okay, can I can I jump on this please? Okay. Thank god this bit's over. Ugh. Never want to play this mission again. This uh, this is why last episode I said I, I really wanted to play this mission, but I ended up not having time to. I really wish I could have played this mission in the last episode and then got it over with. Because I hate to start off this episode dying like 50 times. I really hate it. Oh, there they are. Okay. I was curious what was going on. Wow, the texture. Look at that texture. Holy goodness. Like, seriously, what they did was they put, like, a box and just put some, like, blurry textures on it. And then they put, like, another box with some blurry textures on it. And then just put, like, a flame effect coming out of it with some smoke. Same with over there. Jabus, that texture. Just box, box, and flame effect. Like, you can see the flame effect going through the box. I'm gonna stop criticizing this game now. Let's finally go on to the gulag. Oh, whoops, I bumped the microphone there. May have heard something, maybe not. Gosh, I, I may stop playing on regular and just start playing on recruit just for the sake of the let's play, because this game, this game is abnormally evil now that I'm recording. Seriously, it always happens. Whenever I'm recording, oh, you're just gonna die now. That's what always happens. I start recording, and then I insta-die. And that's, that's really annoying. I don't like how this game does that to me. Yeah, 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 shut up. Alright, cool. Now we get to play a mission that hopefully won't kill me. It's at least not as much. Ooh, F14 Tom. Tom Cat. Ooh, ooh. Hey. Oh, I like how the smoke effect kind of like swirls around because of the water blades. And there's the bit, there's the, the fort right there that we will be in during this entire time. Guns, guns, guns. Uh, the, the spoilers for this mission, I, I do apologize. Uh, in this mission, the prisoner you're searching for ends up being Captain Price. And, um,. See, this this game doesn't tell you a lot of things. Like, this game is missing details about how Captain Price is even ever captured. Like, no one knows how Captain Price is captured. But, he just ends up, like, being captured, and then you have to go and rescue him. And I find it very annoying that this game doesn't tell you about certain things. Like, in the, in the missions, the Wolverine's Nest and Exodus, for example. The HIV and, um, and, uh, Raptor, 
the game never tells you who those people are. They're just people who you have to like retrieve, and they and they end up like being dead. One of them. And then Captain Price, he just ends up being captured, and the game doesn't tell you how he's captured, you just say, oh, he's captured, and you go and rescue him. And that's all the game tells you. That's it. That's the extent. I find it very annoying how the game doesn't tell you much. Alright, finally I can sprint. Right, let's go. Let's do this thing. M4A1 Grenadier. Oh, whoops. Okay, right click apparently didn't aim for me somehow. Where are we being shot at from? All over there. <laughs> I am the best soldier. Oh, there they go, there they go. Killing everyone, I think. Rangers. 